Welcome to another episode of Harry Fred FC here on Vanilla FM. And today we're going to catch up with the winter transfer window uh, in the season of 2026-2027. So, just as a recap, we have been promoted season after season from the National Van Rama... No, sorry, is it National? I don't know. The Van Rama North League up to Sky Bell League One. Um, we are in pretty difficult financial situation, at least we were at the beginning of the season. We still are, but we'll go through the finances in a little bit. And, um, yeah, we started the season really badly, like in the relegation zone, but we managed to pull our way up to 11-ish. We are one to two games behind everyone in front, so we have some scope to catch up, maybe, potentially. Um, so playoffs are unrealistic, I would say, at this stage. It's possible, mathematically, but I think unrealistic. However, we are pretty far away from the relegation zone now, so about 18 points clear. Uh, with something like 12 games to go? Uh, no, 14 games to go. So we've got 14 games to go with 18 points clear. Uh, so th I think we're okay. Um, in other news, we made it to the fifth round of the FA Cup, which is really, really good. Like, really, 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 really good. I don't even know how we did that. Uh, we're going to play against Lincoln. They play in the um, league above, but I'm actually pretty confident we can defeat them. Our previous match was against Millwall, which played in the same league, so in the uh, Skybet Ch Championship. And Lincoln are all bottom of that league, pretty much. So if we beat um, Millwall, we can beat Lincoln as well. That's my theory, anyway. So I think we can be okay with that. Um, yeah, so not too bad. Not too bad. Obviously, we did three straight wins. Three straight promotions with three straight wins. There's no way we can win the league. Uh, we're 20 points away from Bolton, so there's no way we can ever catch up. So I, I don't even think we can get to the playoffs. So, um, But we're doing okay. I think next season, if we fix some issues, we'll get into that in a minute. I think we can potentially uh, then get promoted, maybe even win the league and play in the championship. But I think we're going to have to do Sky Bell League 1 twice, essentially. Now, talking of finances, we... We're pretty, di pretty, yeah, pretty dire situation. Uh, nearly a million down um, by the time the transfer window began. But then two things were at play. So one of them was we won a lot of um, income from. So if you look at this season, prize money. We've had some healthy income last month and this month especially because of the FA Cup. So that's one thing. Obviously, for the same reason, we have a lot of gate receipts from that as well, because uh, I think the majority of those matches were home. Not all of them, but the majority of those matches were played at home. And I think we broke our record for the most revenue in a match as well. we'll we can look at that in two secs. And you will also be able to see that we sold some players... For, you know, quarter of a million or so. Um, so that's also very good. So we made some money that way. So we're not too bad. We're, yeah, still in the red, but not as bad as we were at the beginning of the season. We got some healthy transfer budget as well. Although that will probably all be absorbed next year to try and fix the, the uh, deficit that we have. So I'm not thinking we're going to have a massive transfer budget for next season. We aren't going to. That's not going to happen. Um, I don't think we even have any clauses. No, we don't. So, yeah. But at least we managed to kind of fix the damage within season, if you see what I mean. Um, uh, let's, look, let's look at the records, I think. Uh, if you look at history, records, attendance. Yeah, so we... Uh, where's the revenue? Ah. Get receipts. Okay. Yeah, so over a thousand K against Shrewsbury for the third round. Um, so yeah, doing doing well, doing well this season in the FA Cup. Now, the biggest problem we have 
is because we didn't have a, a transfer budget this season. We have been relying heavily on loans. And as you will know, there's a limit to how many loan players you can have in your squad. So both the starting 11 and also the bench, you can have five among those that are loanees. We have, uh, if I just remove these guys, a humongous amount of loanees because we've been relying so heavily on loanees. So that means that we have a lot of youth players and then the 21s kind of filling in the gaps on the bench, sometimes even playing in the starting 11. Uh, so considering all of that, we are doing amazingly well in the league. It's almost like a miracle that we are not bottom of the league. This is something obviously that I want to try and address. Um, in the next season, try to rely less on low knees. We, I think we're still going to have a, um, an over allocation of low knees probably, but not as bad as this year, I'm hoping. So that's why I was making the most of transfers. So if you look at the transfers out for a minute, so we can kind of start to paint the, pic paint the picture. Uh, the first one to leave was Kian Lefondre. And the reason I, I could have... I could have... If you look on the left side of the screen, you got... Um, uh, AML. So Leon, uh, Kian Lefondre was an AML. I could have terminated uh, Camille Wilson's loan. But I decided against it because Kian Lefondre had said that he, he would leave the club for free at the end of the season. He he'd, um, basically didn't want to continue. So he had like a little warning against his name. You know, he's going to leave at the end of the season for your contract. Um, and I was like, well, I us try and sell him ahead of that, make some money. And we made 60k, so not too bad. He went to a competing team, so that's not good. But at least we recouped 60k into our coffers. Um, we also uh, sold, so th some of these guys were, I'll tell you like the players that I replaced them with in a minute. Uh, so 19k for Jay, managed to negotiate that up a little bit, which is good. Uh, Kieran, I just had to let him go for free, I'm afraid. Alex Yakoviti, we managed to get 100k for him, which is really good. Uh, this Louis, he's like a goalkeeper that we had laying about in the end of 21s. He could, he could have stayed, to be fair. Um, but I thought, you know what, our end of 21s aren't achieving anything as it is. Like they bought it, they've bought, they they've lost every single match this season. So what's the point of holding on to a goalkeeper in a team that's not doing anything? So I sold him for 21k. And then um, Mackenzie Lemon got 37k he's one of the left defenders so in order to uh, improve the squad here are the changes that we made let's go back to the squad so goalkeeping no changes still have Tyler and we still have uh, Renato Bellucci those are the two the right side of defense had a complete overall so this was so these two players if you look at Jay he'd been with us since the beginning I think yeah, Van Rama North. Played 3k for him in the Van Rama North. Sold him for 19k. Not bad. And Kieran also had been with us since the start. So those are the two original Van Rama North defender rights. Uh, so that was well overdue. I've been saying for ages that they are well overdue a, uh, a do-over. So we managed to get two new players on permanent deals. Two Irish players. Got Mr. Cole. So Irish player, pretty good physical for this level. Um, played in Ireland all his life on a free transfer to us. And Ethan Boyle as well, an Irish player, slightly older. Pretty much in Ireland, majority of his life, well, Northern Ireland for a little bit. Yeah, so those are complete overalls for us. Sl slight improvements, not massive improvements, slight improvements, but there was that was well, well overdue. Now, to replace Mackenzie Lemon, I brought in, where is he, Reese James, Reese James, Reese James, small improvement, and I think this position will get again, um, overall probably next season, I, I suspect. So yeah, so he played for Sheffield Wednesday before, Blackpool, Doncaster, Sunderland, Wigan, and so on, Man United for a brief spell, probably as a youth player. 
we still have Farouk, so he's the Uzbekistan E player, like a mature player. He's probably going to retire at the end of the season, I presume. He's one of our elite um, slot players, so yeah, just here to finish this, fi finish his career, I think, and then off to um, maybe some coaching. Who knows? So we still have him. So Reese is new. Ethan and Cole are new as well. Um, in the center of defense, we had a couple other changes as well. Uh, to replace Alex Jakoviti, we brought in on loan. Uh, where is he? Mar Marlon Huffer. He's a re new gen. 18 years old. From QPR on loan. For an expensive loan. But on loan nonetheless. Uh, we still have Sony. Where is he? Oh, Sunny. Samuel is free. Still with us. He's probably, he's probably not, not going to go anywhere anytime soon, to be fair. Uh, we still have the same two non on center backs. So Cam Candola. Um will be with us for a while, I think. And then on loan, Gavin Banner, Banner again, a new gen. He's probably our best player, to be fair. It's a shame we can't play him all that often, because he's on loan. As, as I've explained, we have to kind of manage our loan ease a little bit. But yeah, he's going to be a great player, I think. On loan with us from um, Hibernian. Um, and then another player. So on the centre-back, central defender role... We have Diego Ozokar, still, as before, on loan from Catolica, from Ch Chile. We also had another player. So we had a player that was very promising, Francesco, Fr Francesco Polvar from Udinese. And he was literally just not delivering at all. It was like so pointless. So I went another guy, I went with another guy, an another loanee, a loanee for a loanee. And got this guy, Harrison Burke, which I think we can probably purchase next year if he's still any good. It's probably not, actually, two stars. But, um, yeah, so I just thought, you know, get someone else, see if they can deliver a little bit better. So he's actually been doing okay, despite the fact that, you know, as far as reports go, he doesn't have any more potential. He's actually not very good in the coaching report, but actually, in practice, he is better. So, So that's good. Harrison Burke, and then no change in the defensive midfield. We still have Craig Moore, and we still have Alistair Clifford. Uh, Clifford is on loan from Wigan. And on the midfield position, again, same two as well. We have Ismail uh, that we got uh, earlier in the year from Arsenal. And the other is George Yopenda uh, from Ipswich. So, per permanent deals, those are pro probably not going to change much. Right side of the attack, again, Sim 2, Richard Rowe, Nugen, and Seb. I believe, oh, he's not, in, he's not in Nugen, I thought he was. Seb as well, on loan. So again, two loanees. Right side of attack, so that's that. Then left side, we have a new player called Jordan Willward. So he came to replace Kian Lefondre. And just on loan from my Sprom. New gen. And by the way, new gens, if you want to support the channel, you can go to the Patreon. So there's a link on the Patreon pretty much everywhere you look on the description, but also in the channel page. And uh, you can name uh, new gen. So you can put your name forward, and then I'll pick your name, and I'll insert it in, a, in the new gen, and we can follow the life of that new gen for the rest of the save. Okay, so if you want to support the channel, that's one of the ways you can do it. Thanks very much. Um, right, so we still have Kami as well. So like I said, I was going to get rid of Kami, but actually I decided to stick with them and cash in on Kim Fond. In attack, we have still have we still have Max. Um, but actually, the other guy, what was his name? David? I think. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Nope. Danny. Danny Johnson. They pulled his um, loan. So, last minute, I had to go and get uh, Samson Wandu. I actually haven't even put him in the notes yet. So, Samson Wandu. And I think he's a 12. Uh, oops, I don't know what I did. Ah, there we go. Cool. 
Uh, so he's just to kind of fill in the gaps if needed. Um, not a great player, but here we go. So that is the winter transfer window. We made quite a decent amount of cash with that. So we kind of recouped all the cash we spent on transfers and some more. Um, yeah, so pretty happy. We didn't make a massive dent on that cohesion. We went from very good to good, which is okay. Uh, so hopefully you just keep building from here. We are going to play next uh, Wimbledon, AFC Wimbledon. I've already selected the team, everything else, so we're just going to go and play the match. Yeah, both the youth, the, the youth team and the under-21s are having uh, a season to forget. So the under-21s lost all of their matches, as I said before. I think the under-18s have won, like, maybe a handful and drew a few as well. But again, majority of them are losses. I think they managed to uh, stay in the youth FA Cup for a while, but I think, from memory, I think they've been defeated already in that. But yeah, so not, not great seasons for our youth teams. We, as you may remember, we got upgraded to League 3. So, so um, yeah, I think they're struggling a little bit with the quality. We don't have yet with this intake, because this intake was made on the previous sort of standards that we had. And then we upgraded our standards, and we haven't had a youth e youth intake yet. So it will be this, this April now. So hopefully that intake will be good enough to compete. And I guess as well, because I've been using so many youth players in the main squad, those players aren't available, either because they're tired, we're coming from senior matches, or because the matches clash. So, so yes, I've been using quite a, a lot of the better players in the, in the senior squad, so I guess that's having an impact as well. Classical example is the striker, uh, Richard Cross, our youth striker, has been essentially playing for us almost full time this season. That's a pretty neat, simple goal. Ball in the box, far corner, and just heads it in. So yeah, I think, I don't know how much money we're going to get in the off season. So I guess uh, the, the the board has said that one of their goals that they will fulfill is the expansion of the stadium. But they haven't accepted it yet. Uh, so I'm hoping with sponsorship money, and there's always a little bit of, um, wow, what's it called? Um, solidarity money? So it's like a little bit of payment that the league gives, even though it's not, it's not prize money as such, but it's like a little a payment that the league gives. Every league gives a bit of solidarity money to each club. So with that, and with season tickets, we'll be in positive figures enough that I'll be able to ask for this expansion to go ahead. Now, that might have a negative effect, which is um, they won't give me, a, you know, a huge transfer budget. So, might have to rely on free transfers. Um, but, and obviously, as well, as you, another thing to mention, I guess, which is like a consequence of this season is, uh, because we have a lot of low knees, the team next year will be very different. As opposed to previous years, so I can, so we've been able to keep a lot of the same players from year to year, but this year it's become like the majority of the squad is basically alone squad. Um, so the consequence is next year the squad will change a lot. So that's something to bear in mind as well, which could have its positives, but you'll have 
some negatives as well. The goalkeeper didn't even try. <laughs> oh, okay. It was offside. That's fine. So, it's not going too well, is it? <clears throat> I think I have one more substitution to make. Okay, so I'm gonna get George in. Yeah, and the one of the things that the board has done recently is that they've cut the number of coaches that can have next season. So they cut each team, they cut two coaches out of each team. So two, I can have two less coaches next year for the senior, the under twenty ones, and the under eighteens. I guess it's an attempt to try and call cut down on uh, expenses with staff, which is the most expensive thing actually every month. So, so we'll have to do that next, next, next summer. So I always do. So on the, I think it's the last day of June. The the call the contract expire, and I that's when I go out and I look for new staff. So all the contracts that have expired I'll, before I renew them, I go out and see is anyone that can do this better. But obviously this time. Some of them will expire and I'll be like, well, I can't keep you anyway, so bye. They might readjust those just before the season starts, if we have enough money, who knows. Um, yeah, it's just a bit sad. I'm gonna have to lose some stuff. Redundancies are coming. I've had a new contract actually, so I'm safe. Taking a beating here from Will, uh, Wimbledon. What's that in the league table now? League table. Oh, they're not even ahead from, of us. <coughs> Okay, right, so I'll fast forward to the end of the season and I'll come back with an episode when we've reached it. Um, yeah, thanks so much for following along and watching till the end. Hope that it's helpful in the way that you like you play as well. If you have any tips, anything, put it in the comments and you can, you can always support the channel by liking, subscribing and going to the Patreon, all of those things. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.